Hey guys, this is Doug Aldrich, and I'm here outside of Milano, Italy, and I'm at the Guitar Tutorials uh, World Music Studio, um, and I'm going to be covering some, some different techniques and licks and things that I like to do, um, and I hope you enjoy it. This, I'm going to be very casual here. That's just me kind of getting the feel of this, um, of my guitar, which has been, it's been traveling um, in an aircraft for 15 hours or whatever. And climate change, it changes, you know, the, the neck and stuff. So I'm feeling the guitar, I'm checking out the rig, just getting a feel for it. And I always start off with doing, you know, hitting things and doing things that I that are very comfortable for me. So I would start off just, just getting a feel for it to see what it sounds like. And then I've got um, a whole bunch of different just fuzz or overdrive pedals here, that, uh, including um, my signature pedal with Magic Box. So that's kind of just go to if I wanted to do some solo stuff. But um, I'm starting off in the key of E. I'm in E flat, by the way, so here's my tuning. For warming up purposes, what I really like to do is start off with just some some big stretch scales, you know, and I'll play, I'll just try and play really clean and slow. That's F major, and you can go up diatonically up the neck. scale for each note um, but I like that just F major because it's a simple box and I'm actually kind of going faster than I should if I was really warming up you go really really slowly and, and make sure you make a good connection between your fingers and um, so I like I like that F major because it's a big stretch it's a simple shape and then you're also in the key of D minor, which is, um, you know, for guitar players, E minor, A minor, D minor, or the keys of A, um, D, G, the basic things are always cool. I also like um, songs, you know, in, the, in C sharp minor or, or in B. Uh, it just depends on, you know, the riff or whatever. But, um, but anyway, so for this purpose, F major is good. And I'll go all the way up the scale. To D minor and then go further up um, as it, as it is. But um, so for warm up, I would start off doing that. Then 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 just try and you know kind of push it a little bit. I might go to E minor or major. Actually, switching between major and minor is really great. Switching between E major and minor is really great. It's uh, 
cool for, for you know, getting different flavors. <laughs> First thing I'm doing here is is grabbing the neck down on the second fret on the, the, the G string A note, bending up to a B in the key of E minor. Slide, and I'm I'm bending, but I'm also sliding to the note. That's kind of a you know typical guitar player, Stevie Ray Vaughan influenced. Kind of. So it's E major. I I like this mixing major and minor. These open E licks are really nice to get warmed up and get a connection. And again, you can slide it, you can bend the note, slide into it. So you're mixing major and minor. Major and minor. It's really cool.